Did you know hoplite helmets were much thinner than commonly thought? Sometimes just one millimeter. Yes, they look thick, and there's a good reason for that. Hoplite helmets had varying thickness, as seen in this one found at Marathon. Most of the surface, the top and the back, were indeed less than one millimeter thin, which is strange because those are the places hoplites are most likely hit. As you can see on these vases, they struck from overhead downwards. Testing reveals, however, this one millimeter was sufficient to block a spear thrust, seeing as hits are deflected by the knocking back of the head and the helmet's roundness, as well as the soft padding most hoplites wore underneath their helmets. This thinness makes sense, because bronze was extremely expensive. Most hoplites could only afford a few parts of a full hoplite kit, so by having a thinner helmet, you could put that bronze on shields and armor, which were often made of a non-metal material with a thin, about half a millimeter coating of bronze. But you'll notice this helmet appears quite thicker. This is because the front edges were actually thicker around 3 millimeters, and especially the nose guard was 10 times thicker than the rest. The important combat reason for this I explored in the short you can take below.